Hello again, it's Tim Spector of the Zoe Symptom Study app, giving you the week's update, which is a mixed picture because the first half of the week saw a dramatic drop in cases, uh, and we're now down to 4,400 cases a day, back from around 6,500 last week. So overall, a 30% drop. But the last three days, we've seen a flattening of that. It really hasn't dropped at all. And suddenly we look like we're in a bit of a plateau. And this means that whilst the overall R value uh, is still between 0.6 and 0.9 through most of the country, uh, there are some bits where that trend is being bucked. And we can see that in Scotland and Wales, for example, and also northeast of England, rates are flat or, if anything, uh, going up slightly uh, in the last few days. Now, it's unclear exactly why that's happening. Uh, we did suspect this might happen because schools went back. And if you remember, they went back uh, a week or two earlier in Scotland and Wales, which could be causing that. But we don't have any definite evidence and we're not seeing anything particularly uh, in, the, in the youngest part of the population. So uh, that is, is really what we were expecting. So I, I think we should be seeing a plateau that uh, is there for a week and then starts to drop again. But we've got to again put this into some sort of context uh, because just having over 4,000 cases a day is pretty low compared to where we were at nearly 70,000 cases. And compared to the rest of Europe, we're in a, a very good place and one of, one of the best rates uh, in Europe. So no cause for alarm yet. And also the main reason um, we are, have our vaccination policy is to help the NHS and admissions are down another 30% uh, and deaths are also down about a similar amount. So we're only at about 141 uh, deaths uh, per day, which is really pretty low uh, compared to where we were. So that's all looking good. And remember that uh, the prevalence, that's the number of people with the disease, uh, is getting lower all the time. So only just over 108, one in 800 people have uh, symptomatic COVID that you're likely to bump into. And again, that seems to be slightly, you're less likely to bump into someone in the south of the country and slightly more likely than that uh, in the north uh, and in Scotland and Wales. Now, um, in terms of um, vaccines, we've got up to 25 million vaccines administered. And there was some news uh, today of a, a bit of a glitch that uh, this amazing rollout uh, has hit a bump and we may be slowing down for the next few weeks because of lack of supply. That isn't great and it means that we won't be able to get down those uh, numbers to the people in their uh, 50s as quickly as we'd hoped, which would have driven down the number of infections faster. But hopefully it's not going to affect the NHS because most of the emissions and deaths are in people older than that. So I think this is just a, a temporary uh, problem and we were going faster than planned anyway. So uh, hopefully those things will even out. Uh, the other big news was that many countries in Europe are worried about the uh, side effects of blood clots, particularly with the AstraZeneca vaccine. Uh, as you know, Nearly 800,000 of you have now logged your vaccines with us, telling us about whether you get any side effects the next day. And this is amazingly valuable information. And this we've had a look at and we can't see anything worrying about blood clots in there. And in general, 80% of people have no problems at all. And a few people are having uh, a couple of days of uh, mild problems, but nothing severe. So we're not seeing anything, anything to worry about. I think the data is going to turn out to be a red herring. 
and uh, these are perfectly safe vaccines in my opinion. So uh, just to wrap up, the last few days of our mental health uh, survey, three quarters of a million people have already filled this in. If you haven't done so, please uh, do add it because we'll be taking it down soon. And this is gonna be a fascinating insight into how uh, you guys have coped with the pandemic and also whether this has any effect on your immune system. And uh, once again, we'll be feeding those results back to you. So do keep logging, do keep safe, and thanks again for your support.